big rangy defenseman, so it'll be good to see what he can bring to the team, Chris. Remember, no Jonathan Taves again tonight for the Hawks still in concussion protocol. It's the Strom line that begins. And here comes Kane trying to lead an odd man rush. Kane has it taken away by Robertson, and Pavelski brings it back into the zone. Robertson, Pavelski, Robertson shot, knocked away by Flurry. Hints behind the net for the Stars. One power play each in the first period, approaching 19 minutes in. Here's a chance for Rajalov, saved by Flurry. Late in this first period, first it was the opportunity by Gurianov on the two-on-one, but you see Flower. It was Gurianov who had that chance for the Stars, leads to Kurashev's attempt that's just wide to the right of Ottinger. Outside of the blue paint, and then at the other end, it was Kurashev who, I'll tell you, his feet haven't stopped moving since last night against Columbus. With over half the power play gone by for the Stars. Stars, you get the sense, are looking for the perfect shot as that rebound is controlled by Flurry off the stick of Tyler Sagan. With the Boston Bruins together at the same time, so I used to watch him in practice work on these one-timers, and boy, can he wire it. Flower gets the block squad on the ice for the Hawks. Robertson gets tied up with Hints. Stars stay on it. Pavelski with a deke in front. And Hintz got tied up with Marc-Andre Fleury. Dumped down Kibi Ranta, and the puck accidentally got tied up by one of the officials. Sagan with a redirected pass, and Fleury ready for it as well. Got the flipper down. And I think a lot of coaches do when they become coaches, I'll say that. Jones redirect, Kubelik right on the doorstep along with Strom. Ben with a quick touch. And on the acceleration, Radulov tries to split two red jerseys. Shot saved, Flurry. what a play. He gets going, he can move. You see him sneak between McCabe and Murph, who kind of ran into each other, but wow. Jacob Peterson dropped off in a shot by Gurianov. That was an absolute missile that banged off the wall behind Flurry to put him into sole possession of second all time behind only Stan Makita. Here's Kane with a shot, rebound to Strom. Debrinkit races it down. Under 30 seconds to go on the power play. Strom, high in the slot. Jones, Debrinkit, save Ottinger, rebound available. Haskinen is able to clear it. Hagel after it to keep it alive for the Hawks. Kane, curls, thrown to Jones. Jones weaves his way in, backhand shot off the post. Hawks, watch the patience off the pass. The fake shot by Jones, he goes around. The poise, the patience, and the skill of Seth Jones to have the mind to make that extra play. Hints dropped off to Robertson, back to Hints, shot! No goal, what a save by Marc-Andre Fleury. Unbelievable. Point this season where there's just not much to say. I mean, let the video do the talking here. Watch this save by Marc-Andre Fleury. Are you kidding me? The push from left to right and the glove. Oh, man. What an incredible save. Did you see the reaction by Hintz? Well, I mean, of course. <laughs> in the last month that he's had in the AHL since his first stint in early to mid-January with the Hawks. Here's Calvin DeHaan walking in, save Ottinger, rebound loose. Kane brushes it back to DeHaan. Work along the boards, Lucas Reichel with the quick little feed. And you can see the puck watching by Dallas, so yeah. Calvin DeHaan is wide open. Here's to bring it at the point, DeHaan, who shoots in the direction of Strom, off into the corner now. Over six minutes now into the third. McCabe sweeps it along. Akinpah in front, save Flurry. Wraparound attempt denied. Flurry has been everywhere tonight for the Hawks. And suddenly it's the Dallas netminder who's getting tested. To break it, shoots, rebound. Strom's got it. Wrong side of the net. Would like to see a little more traffic, but got to play in the offensive zone first. Crowd's juice now. Glenn Denning sends it in. Rebound save. Mark Andre Fleury does it again. That time it came from Radulov. Ben on the opposite side this time. One timer Sagan off the shoulder of Fleury. 
And in the slot, to bring it elevates the puck out of harm's way. If you don't have a play, that thing gets out, but it's got to be hard. Nothing soft in the middle. Take that puck along the wall, and worst comes to worst, take the ice. Robertson, Pavelski, save Flurry. Hagel was covered up by Suter. Five seconds left. Kane sends it into the glove of Ottinger for good measure. Two games already this season that were scoreless through the first two periods, but you have to go back five and a half years or so to find the last game that was 0-0 for the Hawks and headed into overtime. Seth Jones, Alex Dabrinkit, Patrick Kane on the ice. Jones with a backhand shot, and Dabrinkit just couldn't get to the rebound. Four and a half minute overtime session. Sagan curls up against Jones. It sure did as Marc-Andre Fleury tried to poke at it. Here comes Patrick Kane in a two-on-two. -two. Kane shoots, poked up into the air and dropped down by Robertson. Jay Cottinger and another opportunity for Kaner. Here's Caleb Jones on the ice now. Patrick Kane still stays on the sheet. Thrown across one-timer save <laughs> by Ottinger on a blast by to Brinkin. Teams are regrouping out through the neutral zone over and over again. And Rides the goal line and Caleb Jones. What a beautiful pass to Kane. Strong to his left. Kane shoots, save Ottinger. Inside of two minutes. Sagan shoots, save Flurry off his glove. Strong with the rebound. Three on three overtime. It's Kane again. Kurashev brings it in. Kurashev shot on the goal line, scooped out of the crease by Klingberg. Klingberg had the overtime game winner against the Hawks in December. Sagan with less than 10 seconds left. Another save by Flurry. Hagel to the rebound. Now Kurashev. One last chance for Jones and the Hawks. Jones left the puck behind and time expired. First of three tries for the Hawks. Here's Alex to bring it. Ottinger off the crease to meet him. Off the post and in for to bring it. He gets Jake Ottinger to bite on the first one. It actually bangs off the crossbar and then he gets the lucky bounce. Here comes Patrick Kane. Kane slows, shoots high. Two 37 year olds meeting in a shootout. Pavelski. Save Flurry! He wins the battle. <laughs> Lucas Reichel, the 19-year-old, in his third game in the NHL, up on Ottinger. Save Ottinger. Philip Kurashev. Save Ottinger. Here comes Alexander Radulov. He's not quite 37, but he is 35. And Flurry denies him. Get around him, but. Round five, here's Dominic Kubelik. Ottinger way out to play him. Kubelik missed. Yeah, Kubelik, a guy who likes to shoot the puck, tries to beat him up and over the... The Finn against Flurry. Save Flurry! Flurry's so old school. Stays as Flower lunges and gives the little pad stack as Ropa Hintz heads up in the corner. Here comes McCabe. Played it wide and it's saved off the stick of Ottinger. McCabe using a little bit of speed as he comes in the left side. and Looks like that one might have hit off the end of the goal. 22 years old, playing in his 41st NHL game. Jacob Peterson scores on Marc-Andre Fleury. And that ends the game. A dissatisfying end to his night. Good move by Peterson, who's got nine goals and, what, one or two assists.